This conference will now be recorded. Good evening. Am I audible? Am I audible? Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, today I'll be starting with uh, functions. So first function will go to database function. Ma'am, what about the videos, ma'am? It's been sent, no, ma, on the day only. It has been shared in the group. No, ma'am, 9th August is the last thing. No, ma, it was been sent. I had informed they have sent it. Let me recheck it once again. Okay. Okay. So, first we'll start up with database functions. So, which are your auto sum functions? Can you name the auto sum functions? Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You are able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So first, today we are going to start up with functions. So in that, which are your auto sum functions? Which are the functions that you have come across in auto sum? Can you name the auto sum functions? You have sum, you have average, you have max, minimum, product, count. Have you come across these functions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Now, if I want to find the sum of above values, so I can use the sum function equal to sum of. So it's going to show you, you can have n number of arguments. So here in this case, my range commences from C2 to C6. You have got the total value. Okay. So 82,000 is your total value. So how can I see this uh, total value in my status bar? I can select like this. 
if i select the range are you getting the same total are you able to see in the status bar yes ma'am yes, ma ah. so this is one method of finding your total value so one more method is i have database function always your database function same whatever auto sum functions you have same thing holds good even for database function so it just prefixes with d okay d sum d average d minimum d count d max d product but it has got arguments are different in case of database function so if you want to find the sum what am i supposed to do is equal to d sum so it's going to show you the meaning it adds numbers in the fields okay now d sum open the bracket here you have three arguments one is the database one is the field and one is the criteria so it has got three arguments so my database commences from a1 to c6 this is my database and field for which column you want to find the total value my field is present in c1 cell and my value commences from c2 to c6 here yeah. so database function that is you have d sum you want to find the sum of salary column so you have three arguments one is you have the database the database commences from a1 to c6 for which field you want to find the total value the field name is present in c1 cell and my value commences from c2 to c6 now if i press enter it's going to show you the same total value yes or no yes ma'am have you understood you want me to repeat excuse me ma'am yeah tell me ma'am uh, ma'am what exactly d sum is you are finding the sum of the selected range of cells we can give some conditions i'll show you this part is it clear are you clear with this d yes, sum yes ma'am okay yes ma'am okay so same way d average d max d minimum d count okay so equal to d average your database starts from which cell a1 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 to c6 c6, c6. C6. My field is present in C1. C1. And my range commences from C2 to C6. C2 to C6. So it's going to show you the average. Same way, if I change here, instead of D average, I'll change this to D count. How many records are there? How many records do I have in my database? Six. Oh. Hmm? How many records do I have? I have five records, right? That is from A2 to C6. Six uh, five records I have, right? It's going to give you the count as five. See? I have records. See how many records I have. I have five records. So same thing. Instead of D count, I'm going to change this to D max. Who is getting the highest salary in this? Who 
who is getting the highest salary name of the person clerk 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 okay so it is showing you the maximum salary so same way i am changing the function to d minimum so minimum is jones he is getting 10000 clear so for product if you multiply 20000 into 10000 14000 it will be a huge value instead of that what i am doing is so i want to find the product i'll just give some value so equal to i want to find the product your cell reference starts starts from e2 to e6 sorry e2 to e2 to e5 it's going to show you product as 300 right same thing using database function d product my database starts from e2 to e5 my field is e1 and my value commences from e2 to e5 even then you are going to get the same total value yes or no yes ma'am have you understood this any yes, doubts you have in this you have doubts you have any doubts in this database function no ma'am okay now we shall give some condition i want to find the total salary of manager i want only manager's total salary so how many manager do i have two two, two. what will be the total value of only manager Forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand. So, how do I get the forty-two thousand here in the cell? What am I supposed to do? Equal to D sum. My database starts from A one to C six. My field is salary. That is C one. and my condition is e1 to e2 understood now am i not getting that same total value yes ma'am uh, same way if i want to find the total value whose name starts with j what i should do what is the condition i have to type name the next line name you need to write j name is my field here i'll just type j yeah I, yes ma'am then uh, because salary because i had taught you in advanced filter na it is similar to that only in advanced filter i had given condition no it is similar to that you should mention the field name and the condition here i'll type salary i want to find the total salary of employee name starting with alphabet j now what i should do you should tell me now i want to get the total salary for employee name is equal to d sum is equal to d sum uh in brackets a1 to hmm. c6 that is what what is that called uh the Database. Area. Database. Database. A one to C six is my C6. database. Then uh, the call uh, C one. C one. 
even you should mention the field in which you have the value so i have i have to find the total salary of salary field right so yes. c1 is my field name and my condition is uh e uh, 4 and 5 e 4 and 5 so it's going to show you the total salary of employee starting with alphabet j any doubts no Have you understood no doubts clear with this database function okay next we'll go on to text function see you'll be getting your functions either in formula tab go to formula tab in formula tab you have this different types of functions if not you can click on this fx fx is also for your functions in this dialog box also you will be getting different types of functions there you can go to database function you can select it through this also so i'll go for d sum say if i want to find the sum i can click on this fx here you'll get the dialog box yes ma'am you select ah huh? ma'am i tried doing uh, for uh, the name ma'am but i'm not able to get it you should have the field name you should have the condition here i want to find the total salary type the heading salary here equal to c you can use even this fx click on fx go for this database in database i am selecting the function d sum click on okay database see your database starts from a1 to c6 field is c1 my condition is e4 to e5 click on okay you are getting the total salary clear yes ma'am okay now next we'll go on to text function i can go to fx i can select text function so there are n number of functions whichever functions i frequently use i am going to tell you about that function okay so i have a function left i have typed nict computer education okay i'll use the function left equal to left see here it is going to show you returns the specified number of characters from the start of a text string okay so from left hand side how many characters you want to extract you have to mention it okay so open the bracket it is going to show you the arguments so you have two arguments in this case one is text and one is number of characters so my text is present in which cell a1 cell a1 a1 has got text so what is the text i have typed nict computer nict education. computer education now if i want to extract if i if i type 6 what will be my output number of characters if i type 6 what will be my output
from left hand side if i want to extract six characters what will be the output n i c t is 4 5 is space c is 6 output will be n i c t c clear it takes even space into consideration okay yes. if i type 4 yes, it's going to show you only n i c t clear if i type n i c t c so you should type space as well as one more character so if you type 6 it's going to show you n i c t c is that clear yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am okay same way you have write function right it's going to extract characters from right side of the text string right also has got two arguments one is the text another arg argument is number of characters you want to extract from right hand side so text is present in a1 cell and number of characters you want to extract from the right hand side is if i want to extract education so how many characters i have to mention there number of characters Education consists nine. of how many characters? Nine. nine. So if I type nine, uh, if I type nine, it's going to show you education. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes or no? Ma'am, one second, can you tell me? Always formula should commence with an equal sign. Write is my function. It's going to extract number of characters from the right side of your text string so right has got two arguments you can see here right has got two arguments one is the text one is the number of characters text is available in which cell a1 if not you can type it by yourself so if i type microsoft excel 2016 if I type like this this is my text one method is you can type the text in that cell one more method is directly you can type the text and you can mention so if I want to extract from the right hand side four characters now what will be extracted What is going to be extracted? Write function. X C E L. No, 2016. 2016. Uh, from right hand side, you are extracting, right? If your text is present inside the cell, you are mentioning the cell reference. But if you are typing the text, text should be enclosed within double quotes. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Text, if you are typing the text by yourself, then the text should be within double quotes. But if you mention the cell reference, then only the cell reference need to be mentioned. That should not be enclosed within double quotes. Understood? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Please yes, answer. Ma okay. Yes, ma'am understood two methods every time i'll not be mentioning both the methods you should know both the methods one method is if you type the text within double quotes one method is type the text within double quotes and mention how many characters you want to extract one more method is you type the text in the cell and mention the cell reference but when you mention the cell reference cell reference should not be enclosed within double quotes clear yes ma'am 
Okay. So next function we have len. Len, it's going to return the number of characters in the text string. Now in NICT computer education, what is the length of my text? Len has got only one argument that is text. How many characters are there in NICT computer education? It's going to give you the length. It's going to return the length of your text. How many characters are there? 20. NICT is 4. Space is 5. Computer mm -hmm. education. Totally how many characters? 19. How many characters? 19. 20, 20 ma'am. 20, 23. 3. 23. It includes space. It includes even the space. Clear? If not equal to len of you, you mention if I type the text by myself n i c t now it will return 4. In between this if I give a space after n one space after i one space after c one space now what will be the length what will be the length now? seven 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 clear uh, after yes, n i have given one space after i i have given one space after c one space after t i have not given space clear both the methods I will not be repeating. So if I have told once, you have to try in both the methods. When you type the text by yourself, that should be enclosed within double quotes. If you type the text in the cell, then you should mention only the cell reference. That should not be enclosed within double quotes. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So next. Next, I have function mid. Mid returns the characters from the middle of the text string. From the middle, how many characters I want to extract, I can mention. So mid has got three arguments. One is the text. One is the starting number. One is number of characters. Now I am typing the text as Bombay. Starting number C. Now I want to extract MBA from Bombay. I want to extract MBA. How do I extract? What should be starting number and number of characters? Ma'am, three. Three. Three is my starting number. Number of characters I want to extract is? That's also three. Yeah. So now my output will be MBA. Clear? So this yes, is about your mid function. Next you have proper equal to? proper i'll mention the cell reference a1 so i have typed the entire string in capital letters so proper function what it's going to do is each and every word first letter will be capitalized remaining characters will be displayed in lower case clear mm, could you proper show that function? again yeah proper function could you show that again yeah yeah equal to proper proper has got one argument that is text either you can type the text i'll type hello world so i have typed the whole string either in capital letters or in small letters if i press enter 
each and every word first letter will be capitalized remaining characters will be in lower case understood yes ma'am ma'am can you show it again equal to proper welcome to excel either the whole text can be typed in capital letters or in small letters okay each and every word first letter will be capitalized remaining characters will be displayed in lower case clear yes ma'am okay next function i have replace replace has got so replace function replaces part of the text string with a different text string okay so replace has got how many arguments four arguments one is old text old text is i'll type n i i t okay starting number is i want to replace the third character so start number is 3 and how many characters you want to change i want to change only one character in place of i i want to change that to c output will be n i c t clear n i c t n i i t is my text i want to replace the third character from third character only one character i want to replace that character should be instead of i i should be replacing with that with c out will will be n i c t clear is it clear yes ma'am yes ma'am okay next i have function repeat equal to r e p t so it repeats a text a given number of times now text can be anything so either you can type your name or i want the star to be printed for five times text is star i want this to be printed for five times if you want to have a space after the star you can give a space before closing the quotes so it will show you that star is repeated for five times or you can type your name your name will be printed for five times or if i type n i c t it has been printed for five times it can be anything clear yes i remember to repeat equal to r e p t my text is you can type any name or if i want to print hello for five times type hello and mention how many times that hello to be repeated if you want to have a space after hello before closing the quotes give a space so hello is printed for five times clear is it clear yes ma'am okay then you have function upper equal to upper of i'll type text i have typed hello either whole text what you have typed can be in lower case 
or first letter can be in uppercase, the whole string will be converted to capital letters. Similarly, I have a function lower. It will convert the string to lower case. So if I type the text, I have two characters in uppercase, two character in lower case. The whole string is converted to lower case. Yeah. Upper function will convert string to capital letters. Lower function will convert string to small letters. Either you can mention the cell reference or you can type the text within double quotes. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. You have a function char equal to char. It has got one argument number. If I enter capital A, it means if I enter 65, it will return the character. So 65 will be your capital A. So 65 to 90 is my capital A to Z. Okay. That is capital A to Z will be ranging from 65 to 90. If you want small letter equal to care of ninety seven months it will show you small letter a so your small letter a ranges from ninety seven to one twenty two a to small small a to z yeah yes ma'am Okay, next you have code. Code of text. If I enter text, it's going to return the code. For capital A, what is the code? Just now I've told you. 65. 65. Okay, so if I enter capital B, it will show you. 66. It's like that. Okay. Care will return the character. Code will return the value. Each character has got a value. Okay. Next you have trim equal to Trim. I'll type hello. Before this hello, I've given some yes, space. Here I'll give three space. One, two, three. Then I have typed hello. One, two, three. World. One, two, three. Three spaces I've given in the beginning, middle, end. So trim will remove unnecessary space towards left right and in the middle middle it's going to give you one space so it's going to return hello world like this but you are not able to know what exactly is happening i can make use of combination of len function len of prim I can use combination of this function. So now if I type hello, one, two, three, type hello again, one, two, three. Again, I've given three spaces there, one, two, three, close the quotes. Close one more bracket. Now, first, which is the inner function? Trim. First, it will trim the spaces. What will be the length of hello world? After trimming the spaces, what will be the length? Hello is 5. Ten. World is 5. It is removing the space from left, right. Totally, it will be 11. 
if and you have see i have given three space in the beginning three space in the end three space in the middle but one space will be taken between both the words so totally it will be 11 clear see here i have shown you the output trim will remove the space from left side, uh, right and in the center one space is given between each and every word but if i use this len function first one two three type hello one two three Now what will be the st string length now it is directly giving you the length it's not trimming so it will give you 19 5 plus 5 is 10 13 16 19 before trimming what will be the length of your text it will be 19. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You have substitute. You have one more function substitute replaces existing text with a new text equal to substitute so it will replace replace existing text with a new text so it has got i'll type the text as You type that text is bat old text is instead of B I want to replace this with M so now it becomes mat bat is replaced with mat clear Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any doubts? No, ma'am. One second, ma'am. Uh, Today I have told you about database function and text function. So I want you to try these functions. Okay. Tomorrow you don't have your class, right? Mom, do we have ma'am? Hello. We have to ask you. Do no, we have ma'am? Tomorrow we don't have. No ma, we don't have. I am asking you people okay, whether you have any information. Tomorrow no, you will not have. Um, okay. Next class will okay. be on Wednesday. So practice okay, all these functions. Okay. Any doubts you okay. have, you can ask me in the next session. You have any okay. doubts in today's session? No, ma'am. You have any doubts? <laughs> okay. Anyhow, happy uh, Independence Day. Uh, in uh, ma'am, uh, when are the yes, CE classes getting over? What? Uh, when are the CE classes getting over? Like, which day will it get over? Like, next week, this week? Uh, I have no idea, ma. I'll just get back to you. I'll intimate to you on Wednesday. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, ma. Bye, everyone. Thank you, ma'am.
Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am.